Today we are gonna analyze how Inzaghi's Inter beat Xavi's Barcelona. First, we are gonna see Inter's offensive structure. When Inter tried to play out from the back from zone A to zone B, Kalanoglu played an important role because he supported the center backs in order to progress to zone B. When Kalanoglu received the ball, he always played with Darmian because he was always free since Alonso wasn't over him and he usually arrived late. When he played forward, Pedri was out of position because he was trying to cover Alonso's space. Therefore, this movement created a space for Inter's strikers. When Barcelona pressed high and they covered the passing lines to Kalanoglu, the centre-backs and the goalkeeper didn't have clear passing options, for that reason they played long balls to the strikers. When Inter was able to broke Barcelona's pressure and the centre-backs could take the ball to zone B, they usually played long balls to the strikers. Lautaro and Correa had great coordination and they complicated Barcelona's defensive line, but also Inter used the width of the field to create chances. Consequently, Di Marco and Darmian played crucial roles. Following, we are gonna see how Inter applied the concepts that we've seen. Barcelona is pressing high, yet Darmian is free because Alonso is not close to him. As he had a space, he could turn and pass to Lautaro Martinez, who had a space because Pedri covered Alonso's space. When Barcelona's midfielders pressed him, they free Canlanoglu. Therefore, he's able to see that Di Marco had a space because Barcelona's defensive line was unbalanced. When Kalanoglu couldn't receive the ball in zone B, Kitarian dropped back to create new passing lines and surprise Barcelona's midfield. As soon as he received the ball, he switched to the sides, mostly to Darmian. As a consequence, Alonso was out of position and Darmian received with time and space and he played through passes behind Barcelona's defensive line. Inter's goal started in zone A. Barcelona was pressing high and they were marking to Kitarian and Kalanoglu, but Correa dropped back to create a passing line and played with Di Marcos. He realized that Sergi Roberto is close to him, therefore Barcelona's defensive line only has three players and Darmian is free on the opposite flank. This allowed Inter to have the same number of players in zone D. Barcelona's players dropped back to their box, but but left space on the edge of the box for Kalanoglu's shot. Next, we are gonna see Barcelona's offensive structure. When Barcelona tried to advance to zone B, Inter started to press on this zone because a wing back joined the midfielders to press on the flanks. As a consequence, Barcelona tried to advance by the central corridors, and this happened when they found Pedri. He made smart passes to the flanks, mostly to Dembele, who was free because the wingback Di Marcos joined the midfielders and he was out of position. Barcelona's setup with the ball was with three center backs, four midfielders plus Lewandowski in the central corridors, and the two wingers. Therefore, they tried to create chances by the central corridors. When Gavi or Rafinha received the ball, they created a space because they dragged to one center back. Nevertheless, no one occupied that space. Barcelona was too slow in possession, mostly in zone B and C. For that reason, it was easy for Inter to defend properly and cover the spaces. The only way Barcelona surprised in zone D was when Lewandowski came out of the box to receive the ball. Nevertheless, when he received the ball, he didn't have clear options up front. The only player that tried something different was Dembélé with his great speed and vision. As soon as the other players received the ball in zone C or D, they were pressed quickly by Inter. In the second half, Sergi Roberto, who was playing as a centre-back, started to play as a full-back. Thanks to this, Barcelona could create chances through the right side, since now they had the same number of players on the right flank and they took advantage of this. Kitarian and Di Marcos had troubles to cover these two players because they had dynamic and positional advantage and even they created the goal that was ruled out by the VAR. 
in the last minutes Dembele played in the box and this free Sergi Roberto on the right flank, yet his crosses weren't good enough to find his teammates. Leave in the comment sections your thoughts about this game and thanks for watching the video. This video is brought to you by Play by Metric Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salad at checkout for a 10% discount.